Hey everyone, happy Easter. We are going to read a story together and we need to thank the Bible Society because they've written this great little book called The Who, What, Why, How Easter. You might actually have a copy of this book. So how about if you've got one, go grab it because we can follow along as we go through the story. Now this morning we have some lovely people who are going to help us read our story. This is Emmy and Jennifer and Charlie and Jennifer. So let's see what Easter is all about. This is the amazing story of Easter. It's the story of Jesus. Yes. And how he died and then came back to life. Why did he die and how can he undie? What? It's not a true story. Yes, it's true. Charlie, very, very true. This is the story of Jesus and how he saved the world. But you just said Jesus was dead. <laughs> he was dead. But then he came back to life. So he was a zombie. <laughs> no, zombies are still dead. Mm. Jesus was dead and then was alive again. And actually, zombies are made up things, but Jesus is real. Was real? No, is real. I think we have to go back, right back to the beginning of everything and start there. Will there be eggs? I love chocolate. No mm. eggs. Sorry, Emmy. In the beginning, God made everything and it was totally good. What he made was beautiful. God was in charge. God loved us. God loved everything. But people decided they wanted to be in charge. We did bad things and the bad things stopped us being close to God. Why does that matter? Without God, things go wrong and the world gets worse. People fight, get sick and things die. Why don't we just take the bad things away? Well, it's not that easy. Let me try to explain. Well, what happens when you do something bad? When I broke my brother's toy, my pocket money was stopped. Was that fair? I suppose. When he threw his dinner at me, he was sent to his room. Was that fair? Totally. <laughs> yes, bad things need to be dealt with. I lied to my dad. And I hit my big brother, but I said sorry. That's good, Emmy. If we say sorry, we can be forgiven and the bad thing goes away. But if we don't, the bad thing stays. That makes God sad. Yes, and there were a lot of bad things staying in the world. But God hates bad things. But God loves us. Even when we don't say sorry? Yes. Mm -hmm. But he still has to get rid of the bad things, so he sent his son to earth. Jesus. <laughs> yes, Jennifer, Jesus. The baby Jesus was born. <gasps> Christmas. Jesus got bigger and read lots about God. But how is he going to take the bad things away? Hmm. You'll see. As Jesus grew up, his power with God grew. Jesus kept close to God. He prayed all the time. What's praying? Talking to God and listening to what he says. God helped Jesus. He told him what to do. Can I talk to God? Yes, we all can. Jesus listened to God and God shared his power with him. What did Jesus do with his powers? He made all things new. He did lots of miracles. He stopped storms. But did he really do that? Yes. He filled empty nets with fish. Oh, because he had God's power. Yes. And he touched sick people to make them healthy. That's not possible. <laughs> yes, it is. With God, all things are possible. People were amazed at all the miracles. Now they believed he was God's son. He told them that people could be happy and back with God. How? Say sorry for your bad things and follow me, said Jesus. And lots and lots of people did. Could anyone follow him? Anyone. Jesus loved everyone. Even with their bad things, he wanted them to be or he wanted them all to be back with him and God. It was like he was inviting them to a wonderful party. And lots of people said yes. But not all people. Some said Jesus was lying. They said he wasn't God's son. They said he should be killed for not 
telling the truth. But he was telling the truth. He should have turned them into fish. He should have stopped them with his powers. Well, yes, but he didn't. Remember, God sent Jesus to take away all bad things in the world. Someone had to be punished for them. God asked Jesus if he would take the punishment. That's not fair. No, but God said it was the only way because Jesus loved us and loved God. So he agreed. So what happened then? Lots of bad things happened. His friends all let him down. One of his best friends, Peter, said he didn't even know who he was three times. Not fair, bad friends. Hmm. Then people said Jesus was lying when he said he was God's son. They said he should be killed. Not fair, I wouldn't do that. You might if you were really scared. Soldiers made fun of him and hurt him. Not fair. They nailed him to a cross. Why didn't he use his superpowers to get out of trouble? He wanted to get us out of trouble instead. Jesus died on the cross. And all the bad things people have ever done or will do died too. They were taken away. So he died for me. And me, for everyone. And me. And me, I'm sorry for my bad things. His friends buried him in a tomb and rolled a huge stone in front of it. Soldiers were put outside. Hang on, you said this story was amazing. <laughs> it is, Charlie. Three days later, the earth shook again and God did the biggest miracle ever. Jesus came back to life. No way, I can't believe that. Jesus wins. Here are three really good reasons to believe Jesus did come back to life. One, the tomb was empty. Someone could have taken the body. Maybe, but they didn't. Someone could have moved the rock. Unlikely, it was the size of a car. Two, lots of people saw Jesus alive again. Maybe they saw a ghost. <laughs> Ghosts don't eat, and Jesus ate with lots of people. Three, people saw the holes in his hands. It is true. I'm sorry too. Yes, it's all true. Because of Jesus, we can be alive again too. In Here's the new beginning, and we can start all over again. Thanks for reading our story with us, and we hope you have a really happy, joyous Easter. <laughs>